Good morning, St. Francis. It is Monday, February the 8th, 2021. Monday of the fifth week in ordinary time, the fifth week of the year. Drawing ever closer to Lent, uh, Ash Wednesday uh, is about 10 days away. Ah, okay. Uh, coming to you from the, uh, let's, let's see, it's the, it's the parking lot along the side of the community center, uh, which as you can see is right over here again. And then behind me, um, is uh, Elizabeth Hall, Elizabeth Hall, right over here for the preschool. And as you can see, the Mary Ann Cope uh, Playground, St. Mary Ann Cope Playground, uh, which we uh, blessed a couple of days ago. We're going to dedicate it once it's fully done. Uh, blessed a couple of days ago is up and coming, like a lot of bright colors, very beautiful little playground. Can't wait to play on it. Um, today's gospel. Sometimes a gospel is just a gospel. Not much to report on, not much to say. Uh, Jesus is still in Galilee, going around the Sea of Galilee, and people keep coming to him uh, because they want to be healed. Everyone wants a piece of Jesus, it seems. Um, and that's what Jesus does. Again, Jesus goes to the place, the people come to him, and as many as touch him or come near him or whatever, they, or whatever happens, they get healed. Um, and that's all that it is. It's all that it's a report. Um, again, the subcurrents in it are people are just coming for their basic needs. Is there any transformation of heart or mind? Is there anything that's basically telling people uh, that there is something wonderful in their midst? Or are they seeing an opportunity and taking advantage of it? That unfortunately sometimes is what a lot of people think about faith. It's an opportunity. And unfortunately, whether we think about it or not, it's an opportunity people are, are taking advantage of. We want our God to do miracles. We want our God to make everything better. We want our God to do magic. And that's not really what our God is about. The fact that miracles do happen, that magic you know, can seem to come from the hand of God, that there can be some wonderful and glorious things that can occur in our life, notwithstanding, God does not work basically as a, a celestial or divine ATM to basically give us whatever we need, whatever we want it. There are certain things that we have to understand about what it means to be people of faith, that even without great cures or miracles or wonders or magic or whatever it is you want to call it, our God is still there. Our God is still there to journey with us. Our God is still there to care about us. Our God is there, you know, so that we might be able to have a life that is filled with dignity, worth and value. The people come to Jesus and Jesus doesn't turn them away, even though Jesus knows full well that they are only coming because of what he can do. Again, that graciousness, that extravagant affection, that wonder that is Christ, that is God in our midst, is something perhaps we are asked in one way to emulate in our own lives. When people come to us, you know, do we turn them away easily? Do we try to basically push the world away or push people out? Or do we welcome those who come into our lives? allowing whatever, uh, whatever healing, whatever wonder, whatever good we can do for them and to them be accomplished. That is our mission as believers. And that is something that helps to show the kingdom of God is at hand. May the Lord give you peace.